Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and today I'm doing a little TBR for May. It's going to come out a little late, obviously, since I'm filming this on like the 6th, but I haven't really been feeling up to making videos or doing anything at home lately. I kind of just like had something happen in my, in my life and I haven't been home at all. I've just been out with friends the whole time because I haven't wanted to be at home. So I haven't filmed any videos, even though I had a bunch filmed and ready to put out, I also didn't put out new videos because I just was never home. And I also didn't read at all, so I have a bunch of books like from last month's TBR because I really want to read them. <laughs> and I have a bunch of books from last month's TBR because I really want to read them. And I'm planning on getting back into reading this month, so we'll just see how that goes. But the first book I have is The Defiant by Lindsay Livingston. This is the second book to the Valiant series and I absolutely love this book. This book is a, the first book, this series, is about a girl who gets kidnapped and as a, as a slave sold to be a female gladiator and there's a lot of other things that go on in the background but she has to learn to fight for her life and deal with the politics of Rome. And what I really like about this book is the politics of Rome really, really come out. And since you know what happens, because we know who the um, emperor is, it's Julius Caesar, you kind of know what starts to happen with his regime. So I can see the buildup to that happening in this book. And I'm really afraid of how it's going to affect all the characters when that happens, which is just terrifying. But I super duper love it. I'm like halfway through it right now, so I'm definitely going to get it done. The next book I want to read this month is The Price Guide to the Cult by Lisa Walton. This book sounds super duper good. I actually don't completely know what it's about. I just know it involves witches, I believe. So I'm down to read it, and I don't want to go into it really knowing what it's about. So I haven't read the back or anything, but if it looks interesting to you, you can totally just like look up the synopsis. But it's beautiful, and it has red edges, and I love it. Super excited. Then the next book I have is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Super duper excited for this book. This is about a girl who she and her friend go out on like a detective mission thing because something happened to this billionaire and there's this huge reward for finding him or something like that. I'm not really sure. But she's also suffering from some type of thing. It might be OCD, it might be anxiety, I'm not really sure. I think it's OCD because I believe that John Green kind of wrote this kind of with his own experiences with OCD that he has, but I'm not completely sure. I just know that I really need to read it and I'd really like to very soon. The next book I have this month is People Like Us by Donna Lee. This is about a popular girl at a private school who kind of gets involved in this serious thing when a girl's body from the school washes up on shore and that girl leaves behind a scavenger hunt. So the main character has to go on the scavenger hunt which kind of drags up her past and things she's done that she doesn't want to get out. And I just think it sounds like a really, really good kind of mystery thriller, I believe people have said it was like. I've just really wanted to see it. I almost bought it like a month ago when it came out, but I didn't because I didn't want to spend $20 on a hardcover because I hate having to do that. But I'm super excited for it. Next, I have How to Hang a Witch by Adrena Mater. This is a book my friend gave me because she thinks I would absolutely love it, and I think it does sound really interesting. It is about a descendant from one of the witches executed in the Salem Witch Trials, and there is some sort of curse around everyone who is involved in the trials. So she kind of finds out about the curse and how it's affecting her. And at the top it says, the more things change in Salem, the more they stay the same, which is quite interesting. So I don't really know what I'm going into, but I really hope I love it. I think that I will, because this friend says that, like, it, like... <laughs> and that is Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Maria Farley Doyle. This book is about the small town where things disappear when written in a spell book, I believe. It's something involving a spell book and things disappearing. So I'm kind of interested in how that all intertwines, and if it has to do with witches, I believe it does. But it's like the most beautiful cover ever. I had it in my last month's TBR, but obviously I didn't get to read anything really, so I haven't read it. And I really want to, so I'm really, really hoping that I can get to it. 
And the last book I have this month is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson because I was really craving a Brandon Sanderson novel. I've been thinking about him for a while and just like, oh, I miss his worlds. He's like my favorite author. He really is. Of like this kind of books because also Rick Brandon's a favorite author. But this is the, the second book to the Miss Borden series. And it is about this group of people who decide to go on a heist, so it's kind of like Six of Crows, I get the vibes, to destroy this Lloyd, Lord Ruler who literally rules over the whole world. He's immortal. Um, no one can stop him. He, there's only This world only has nobles and slaves. There's no in-between. So they kind of have that thing going for them, and they decide that they're sick of being slaves and want to take him down and sort of destroy his kingdom and make it their own sort of and it's super good and the magic system is like nothing I've ever seen it involves metals and when you ingest them they give you powers like speed or charisma slash manipulation or strength and all kinds of things like that and it's seven eight hundred pages almost so I don't know if I'll actually finish it this month but I really want to start it and I love the way this book sounds Oof gorgeous. I'm just excited for this book. I'm excited for all these books. I'm really, really hoping I can get to them. Whenever I look at my shelf, I'm just like, I need to read this book and this book and this book and they just stare at me and I feel guilty and they keep staring at me. It's sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and comment what you're reading this month or any books on here that you'd like to read and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye-bye!